Hey guys, welcome to a new video. This is my submission for the 2019 NYX Space Awards. I'm super excited about this one because it's inspired by one of my favorite painters, Dustin Bailard, and I really hope you enjoy it. And this is the kind of look that's going to start out looking crazy and then it's going to keep looking worse and worse until the very end where everything's just going to start to make sense. So first I just glued down my eyebrows, but it doesn't have to be perfect just because I'm going to cover it with a lot of uh, dark eyeshadow later. So I just did about three layers. And then I went ahead and just roughly sketched out the eye shape with an eyeliner pencil. And I did this about five times before I got it right. So it's really a bit of trial and error and just trying to make it match on both sides. So this is white cream foundation. I just put two layers of this and blended it out with a sponge. Next I'm just filling in the eyes with some black face paint just so I know exactly where they're gonna go. Next I just cover my eyes with black eyeliner so that they're completely camouflaged when I close my eyes later. Then I took that same eyeliner and smudged it all across the top of my fake eye because that's going to be the base of the lashes that I'm going to paint on later. So it's kind of like I'm doing makeup on my fake eyes. Next I'm just going to take a dry paintbrush with some yellow eyeshadow and just drag it down my cheeks. You can kind of think of it like a grungy blush. So I'm just making it look super streaky and then I'm also taking a mustard tone and just adding a little more streaks of that so it looks a little more grungy. Then I'm going to go back to the eyelids and I'm just going to take a bunch of different tones of grays and browns and just blend it all up over that eye and over the eyebrow. It's going to be super messy and dark and blotchy and look really crazy until the end. So I'm just doing a rough shape to begin with and then I'm going in with darker browns to create uh, a new crease and then finally with black and just making it darker and darker as I go. I'm also taking more black eyeshadow on top of that lash line to make it really black. I'm doing the same thing on the bottom, adding a lot of dark browns and then black right underneath the eye. This is supposed to be the eyeshadow under the eye, but right now they're kind of blending together, so it just looks like a big black hole. But we're gonna create some separation later. But for right now, it's just gonna look a little cuckoo. And I'm taking the same brush that I used for the yellow, and I'm just dragging the black down in the same pattern. To add some highlight on the fake eyelid, I'm just putting some gray eyeshadow. And it doesn't have to be a snatched cut crease. Like this is supposed to be messy. But I'm just going to take a lot of the same colors that are on the eyes and just put them on the nose just so it's cohesive. So some light browns, some grays, and a little bit of yellow. I'm just going to dot it all over the nose. Just like with everything else, it's not pretty or blended or anything. 
Moving on to the lips, I'm gonna take a light blush color and just smudge it all over the corners of the lips. But I'm putting it way outside of the lines because I'm doing a really plump and blurred lip. Then I'm just gonna smudge this gray-brown liquid lipstick all over the lips. And I'm overlining the top lip a lot. And then I'm not connecting the outer corners of the lip, I'm just kind of ending it halfway from the middle so that I can blend it with my fingers. And then I'm just taking some dark brown and just making it a little dirtier and adding some shadow under the lips. So now we're getting to the good stuff when we get to add detail. So I'm starting with the reflection in the eyes. So I just did kind of a curved line and just a big blob in the middle and then another curved line on the bottom. Just so it kind of makes the eyes look more oval and like they're protruding out of the face. And then adding this white on the eyelids really makes them look super three-dimensional and glossy and I love it. And this is just white water activated face paint. Now I'm just adding some dots on the brow bones and I'm doing the same thing on the nose around my little nose highlight. Then I feel like I went a little overboard on the lip highlight, but you know, it works. And I think this part is really cool. It's super subtle, but adding just a line of a light gray on top of the eyeball really separates the eye from the eyeshadow. And then on the bottom, I just mixed some light pink to make a good color for a waterline. And just adding those two lines really makes it look like an eye. <laughs> The white got a little darker once it dried, so I just went in and intensified the white a little bit. And I also added some highlights on the waterline and in the inner tear duct. Now I just gotta paint the lashes, and I want these to be huge, spidery, clumpy lashes. So I'm just trying to vary lengths and thicknesses and curves, angles, so that they don't look too uniform and perfect. So when I finished the lashes, I decided that I also want to do a little bit of an outline on the nose. So I'm just doing a little brush strokes around the tip of the nose and the nostrils. So then I just took some more black eyeshadow to make the lashes blend in a little bit better. And lastly, I just took some gray face paint to make the face a little more narrow and fairy-like. I'm gonna paint some fur on the body, but I'm gonna lay down a base of medium tone gray so that it looks like a shadow underneath the white hairs. So it doesn't have to be pretty, it just needs to be a base layer. So then I'm just gonna do a bunch of rows of hair strokes.
And then for some added design, I'm gonna add some black hair strokes down the middle and down the sides. But on the one on the sides, I'm gonna leave a little blank square in the middle so I can fill it in with yellow. So I got this feather boa, but I tried to trim off the longest feathers so that it would look more like fur and not like feathers. So I'm just gonna tuck that behind my neck. So now we're gonna go back in time to when I made the antennas. So these were super simple to make. I just got a pack of feathers. So moth antennas usually taper off at the tip, so these feathers are pretty wide. So I had to trim them to make them look more pointy. And then I just cut out little chunks of the feathers so it looked like little individual strands. And I tried to keep the positive and negative space pretty even. And then I just did my best to match it on the other side. And for a finishing touch, I just decided to put some gold spray paint on the tip. And then I just put a little fade on the side that's gonna be on the outside once I wear it on my head. And here we go, so I just put them in and secured them with some hair clips. And that's the whole look. I can't believe I managed to cram three hours of filming into 13 minutes, but I did it. If you made it all the way through, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. It's all about humanity.